Hello, I'm Emily Weisling. I'm a senior at Waverly High School. And this is a call out poem to myself. You are hopeless romantic, but you can't keep a boyfriend because you always want something better, something shiny or something new or something with a better jawline. Perhaps it's because since you were three, you've been the princess, and even though the queen's servant accidentally stepped on your tiara, the ghost of it still balances on top of your head. You are still the princess, and none of your knights are wearing armor that gleams enough. You rule over a kingdom of procrastination, sitting on your throne watching cupcake wars. You know you should be doing something, but doing nothing is so much easier than actually doing something. Your anxiety causes you to overreact to everything. You've been told since you were three, you're a hypochondriac. Your mom even sings a song about it. You're a hypo, hypochondriac. So now you don't tell anyone when something might seriously be wrong with you, like how you probably broke your sternum in a hotel room in France two years ago and you never went to the doctor. It's a surprise you can wing your eyeliner so effortlessly given the fact that your hands are constantly tremoring like a fault line, which can also be contributed to your constant consumption of iced coffee. You can't donate your blood. It's been replaced by icy caffeinated ambrosia. If you were in the hospital dying of blood loss, all the doctors would have to do is grab a frappuccino from the cafe downstairs. You get jealous at the smallest things, like someone being better than you at art, at writing, at existing, and green is not a good color on you. Your mom incessantly asks about the girl who used to prance around in fuzzy pink Barbie heels, but you are still that little girl. Despite your insecurities, you are more arrogant than Kanye West, which is why you wrote a poem about yourself, because even you have to admit you're pretty freaking awesome. You may be a hopeless romantic, but you are also a strong, independent woman who don't need no less than average jawline man. And you are saving the world one ex-boyfriend at a time. I am saving the world one ex-boyfriend at a time. I am saving the world by supporting the iced coffee community. Starbucks will never go out of business so long as I am alive. I am saving the world by helping any dog I see roaming the neighborhood at 2.30 in the morning in 10 degree weather. I am saving the world by becoming a biomedical engineer. I will grow hearts out of somatic skin cells. The transplant list will wane like a setting moon. I will save lives. I will aspire for nothing less because while I don't have motivation to study for my biology test, I still have motivation to make a difference. I'm saving the world just by being me. I may have grown up the princess, but I'm ready to become the queen. 